guys doing? Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be doing a full display and collection video. Despite I will be excluding the Shatter Glass display because nothing has really changed. Yes, we have had several Shatter Glass reveals recently, but of course none of them have them in hand because they're coming out much later in the year, like November and October. So I'll be saving that for another video of my collection. This is really just the main room of my collection. And there's actually some brand new stuff that I have not shown you yet, which is actually very exciting and interesting to show you. So first up, we have this new table I got. I do apologize if it doesn't focus in this area. For some reason, I've actually recorded this video several times, and whenever I get to this uh, table here, my camera just does not like that table and just completely out-focuses. It's super weird, so I really apologize if that happens again. But here we have Purdy King and Fort Max. If you're wondering what is different, so recently I did get this brand new table. Um, these figures had been on the floor for far too long. They were just on a board in the corner. I thought, I need to change that. I need a better display for these characters. So I got this really cool cheap display, like $40 and uh, put them on top of it. I think that looks pretty cool. Yes, Trypticon is no longer uh, in the main display area. I actually put him in storage because he does not look very good anymore. His tail is super flappy. It doesn't really lock into place, and he's kind of not lasted very well, unfortunately. Um, so he'll be in storage, uh, I guess, forever. But um, these two Titans look super cool next to each other. So now, for these three empty shelves, I actually have several ideas in mind what to do with them. And if you have any ideas what I should use these uh, shelves for, please do let me know in the comment section down below. So for the first box, I think I probably might put the Victory Saver Haslab figure. I think that'd be pretty cool. Yes, I already did have a option in mind where to put them, but I actually think it'll look a lot better there. What's very useful about about these shelves is they're actually completely modular. You can actually uh, raise and lower the boards to adjust the height and size of the boxes, which is actually very useful. Of course, there's two more boxes. I think one of them might be for the Wreck and Rule packs. There's uh, five packs, and I think there's about nine figures because there's two two packs and three um, one packs. I think it's like uh, nine or seven figures about there. Um, so I think that'd really look cool in one of those. Um, for one of the last boxes, I think I might put all these Stunticons in there. That is really just a thought. I might put them somewhere else. Um, of course, whenever I get all five, I'll test it out and put them there. If I like how it looks, I'll put them there. Um, and of course, that goes for the Wreck and Rule and the HasLab. If I put them there and it looks good, I'll do it. If it doesn't, I'll just put them somewhere else. But let me think of that. I think that looked pretty cool with the HasLab. Wreck and Rule, and of course the Stunticons maybe at the bottom or the middle. I think that looked pretty cool in my opinion. But of course, I don't have the Haslab or the Wreck and Rule or the Stunticons yet, so there will be some time before I can fill this up, but I think that'll look pretty cool whenever I get those. So let's move on to some shelves. I'm just going to kind of sit down slowly. I do apologize if the camera's shaky or anything, and I am glad the camera did stay in focus for that table. So now there is another new section of Legacy. Here we have pretty much all of Wave 1 and uh, some of the Walmart exclusive uh, three figures that subline. It was Sandstorm, Buzzsaw, and Night Prowler, uh, which are here. So starting on the Autobot side, we do have Laser Optimus Prime from Wave 1. We have Night Prowler, Skids, and of course in the corner we do have uh, we have Bulkhead and RC looking very cool. On the Decepticon side, we have Dragstrip, Sandstorm, Kickback, Iguanas, Buzzsaw, and Skywarp right there, which that looks pretty cool. Of course, this will drastically change over time. I think I might put Kickback somewhere else because most likely we will be we will be getting the other two uh, Insecticons, so maybe they will be joining him on this shelf or somewhere else. Of course, same for the Stunticon Dragstrip. He might be moving to one of those shelves there, so he might not be sitting on this shelf forever, so who knows. But um, overall, the Autobots and the Decepticons do look quite cool in my opinion. Moving up to another shelf, unfortunately, this really hasn't changed at all. Um, this is kind of my uh, display uh, sort of favorite shelf. So starting on this side, we have Jetfire from Siege, uh, Wingfinger from Kingdom, we have Tricranicus, we have the uh, Target exclusive T-Rex uh, from Kingdom, we have Dinobot, Cyclonus, the Dead Optimus Prime from, it was a Prime Day exclusive, we have uh, Black Rishi, we have uh, the Centurion Drone Pack from Hazard Pulse, we have Origin uh, Bumblebee and Bug Bites. Of course, also we do have all the mini accessories that came with the Centurion Drone Pack. Of course, we have the Mace, the big Optimus Prime Blaster. We do have the Energon Rods from the Origin Bumblebee. We also do have the tiny 
two little Octomus Primes from the Ark, also the Centurion drone, which just go right there, and I think that looks pretty cool. So this shelf might change over time. Of course, I will constantly be adding figures to it because there's constantly some coming out, and I might change my feeling about some of these. They might uh, get taken off the shelf or, of course, put on, so it will change a lot, but overall, these figures do look quite cool there. So that's pretty much it for this side of the room, except, of course, we do have this section up top, which really hasn't changed much at all, but I will quickly go over it, but that's really all the changes that have been on this wall. We have Pterosaur, which was recently added to the Golden Disc Collection, which I did recently review. Uh, in my opinion, not the best figure, which is unfortunate. We have his Golden Disc, we have Sights, Jackpot, Mutant Tiger Tron, of course, we have the two Huffer repaints there, looking pretty cool in the back. And then, of course, we have the Battle Across Time Amazon exclusive packs. We have uh, Grimlock, Mirage, Skywarp, and Sideswipe. And just my thought, uh, let me know what you, um, you think I should put there. I might put the um, Transformers Buzzworthy Bumblebee Creatures Collide 4-pack there from Target whenever that comes out. I probably will put that there. I think that'll look pretty cool. And maybe possibly uh, also the Red Cog, because that's also a Target exclusive coming out very soon. That'd look pretty cool there. And of course, if I can fit it all. Um, and then, of course, up top we do have the Titan Black Zarak looking super cool. And next to him, soon to be, I will be putting the Legacy Metroplex Titan, which will look super cool. So that is pretty much it for this side of the room. Let me just zoom out to kind of go over everything because there is a lot more to talk about. So of course we have the Titans there and there. We have the Amazon exclusives and Target exclusives and stuff like that. We have the favorite section, of course the brand new legacy section and this brand new shelf here which looks pretty cool in my opinion. So that's pretty much this side of the room. I'm going to kind of readjust and go to the other side and let's cover all of that. Now moving on to the main bulk of the setup, but there actually is uh, quite a few changes, but there is really no change here, but we'll quickly do a flyby. So we have Ape Face there, we also do have a Selex G2 Megatron, we have Spinister, we do have a Sound Blaster, Impactor, Hound, and of course all three main versions of Prowl from the Siege, Mold, of course Smoke Screen, we have, um, I'm pretty sure, a Silver Streak, we also do a Prowl, we have Skylinks here, we have uh, two versions of Cog, another version of Siege Ironhide, we have Lionizer, Fire Drive, Moving down here, there actually is some new characters. We did uh, put, I did put DK2 Guard and Silver Streak there from the uh, new Legacy Wave, which looks pretty cool. Some two mini cons. We have Prowl, Smokescreen, and Ironhide. And on the Decepticon side, this has really stayed the same. We have the Coneheads and two mini cons from Siege, which looks pretty cool. And moving a little bit lower down, we have a pretty empty shelf. We have the uh, Selects Galvatron. Not really sure where to put him. If you have any ideas, let me know in the comment section down below. And now moving to another shelf. This is pretty much mostly Kingdom. We have Galvatron right in the middle looking super cool. We have Cheetor, Warpath, Optimus Primal, and Optimus and Dracodon in the core class size. We do have some redecos. We do have a uh, Fossilizer, of course another version of uh, Cheetor. We do have Scorponok. Vertebrae, Black Arachnia, another version of Megatron, and using the Siege Mold. This is the Netflix exclusive pack. Uh, and we also do have Megatron for the Beast Wars line, or Kingdom line, which looks pretty cool. And moving down here, we have Springer, Transmutate, the Rescue Patrol from Siege, RC, the Siege Ultra Magnus, Sparkle Spot. We have an Alicon there. We do have four Minicons. It was a Selects uh, exclusive pack, which are pretty cool. We do have uh, Earthrise Megatron, we have the three, of course, typical uh, Seekers. We have Thundercracker, Skywarp, and Starscream in the back, looking super cool. And speaking of Seekers, we have the pretty much full Seeker shelf, which looks super cool. So right in the front, we have all the Minicons that came with, like, Hot Link, and the Sparkless Seeker, and Skywarp, which was pretty cool looking, and all their Blaster pieces. I really like how this turned out. We have the Sparkless Seeker, Starscream, Hot Link. We have Skywarp, Red Wing, and Thundercracker. And then, of course, the three Target exclusive Rainmakers in the back. And that looks 
so cool in my opinion. Definitely one of my favorite shelves in the entire display. And I really like how I got these lights. I do hope the lighting is good. Please, please do let me know how it looks in the comment section down below. It's just my setup is pretty much in a corner with like no light with all these off. It is dark as a cave, so I am doing the best I can. Moving up, another really awesome shelf. We have the two PulseCon exclusives from 2020 and 2021. This is the Ravage Decepticons Forever, of course, with the Little Ravage in there. We have the 2020 uh, Pulse Gun exclusive, the uh, Pit of Judgment. We have the Judge, of course, one of the Alicon repaints. Uh, we have Kranix, I'm pretty sure. A, um, I think a Justifier, I always forget what they call him, one of the Judges. And another Sharktacon and the Pit, where, of course, he will fall into and get eaten. And I think that looks super cool. I think I might change this to a different shelf. I don't think I'll be keeping the cardboard cutouts on display. I will be, of course, keeping them in the boxes. It's just they take up so much room. And I do want to, of course, uh, in 2020, to put the next one here. And as you can see, this shelf is pretty much completely full. So, unfortunately, I might have to move those off. Now, standing up, we do have another area. So, this is one of the possible places where I might put HasLab uh, Victory Saber. Of course, we have the... Um, Almost Haslab add-on kit to Unicron. This is the Behold Galvatron. Uh, of course, this is the reformatting Galvatron. Also, I do have a custom display stand with all the uh, 14 little minifigures and the three ships, uh, which is very cool. The Quintesson ship, the Junkion ship, and the Nemesis ship, which looks pretty cool. Or the Revenge. I always mix that up. <laughs> but that looks pretty cool. So this is a possibility of maybe putting it here or, as I said before, maybe over there. So, kind of two options. Options. Now, moving up, we do have another shelf that hasn't really been changed, but I'll quickly go over it. So we do have a repaint um, of a weaponizer. Um, I think it's Zadar, I'm pretty sure. We have Six Shots, another repaint of uh, Sky Tread, and of course, a lot of repaints of the Siege Sideswipe mold. We have, uh, I'm pretty sure, the Clone Sideswipe, the original Sideswipe, the Red Alert, and uh, I'm pretty sure that is Chroma right there next to Six uh, Gun. Which is pretty cool. We have Siege Soundwave. We also have uh, uh, Barricade. And we also have uh, Fast Track back there. So that is pretty cool. So I'm, we're just going to readjust. That's pretty much it for this wall. I'm just going to kind of readjust. And I'm going to change the lighting so we can go focus on the huge big block and buildings area. Which is super cool. So make sure you, uh, of course, watch the whole video. Because there is a lot more still to cover. So now moving on to the main section of the setup. So, of course, zoomed in, it looks pretty small, but I'm going to zoom out after a while and I'll show you how just huge and awesome this has become. So, of course, we have Trail Baker, Hoist, we have Lift Ticket from the Selects Legacy line, we have Galaxy Upgrade Optimus Prime from Siege, we have Ratchets, a Walgreens exclusive, we are an Iron have Ironhide, Optimus Prime, Megatron, Shockwave, Brunt and Refractor, which looks pretty cool on this one bridge. We do have two Minicons there. And of course, up here we do have Omega Supreme and Scorponok from the Siege and Earthrise line. And up here we have Earthrise Ultra, uh, Kingdom um, Ultra Magnus. We have um, Elita One from the Netflix series, a Netflix Optimus Prime. And way back there we have the Commander Class Rodimus Prime, which looks pretty cool way up there. Uh, moving to the other side of this big tower, we have a core class sound wave. We have Pounce and Wingspan back there. We also have a Minicon from Siege. Moving down here, we do have Fossilizer, Paleotrix, Waspinator. We also do have two Seekers, uh, or Conehead repaints, which looks pretty cool. Sandstorm, and I always forget <laughs> I always forget one name in this video. I always forget one of them. Uh, Ramjet, I'm pretty sure his name is, but that looks pretty cool there. And the G2 colors. Moving up here, we do have several core classes. We have Starscream, Megatron, Nightbird. We also have Skytread and Astrotrain with his little weapons package way back in the corner. We also do have another Siege Battlemaster there, which looks pretty cool. And of course, that bridge that we, or that area we already went over. We also do have Soundwave's, uh, or uh, Shockwave's little weapons pack back there, his little glider. Moving in here, we do have Earthrise Optimus Prime, we have Grapple, we have two uh, characters from the Buzzworthy Bumblebee line. It was that two-pack with uh, the Exosuit Spike and that small little Bumblebee. We also do have Netflix Bumblebee, we have Exhaust and Double Dealer way back there. We have Chromia, we also do have Snapdragon, a pretty good figure. We have two uh, other Minicons from the Earthrise line. 
we have Rhinox from Kingdom. And I do apologize, it's kind of getting dark here, but um, unfortunately I can't really do much. But actually, wait, there is a light here. This might help. Hopefully I can turn that on. There we go. Hopefully that helped. We have uh, Air Razor and Tigertron. Back here we do have Hubcap and Cliff Jumper. We also do have Rodimus Prime's trailer. Um, Earthrise Optimus Prime's trailer there, which I thought looks kind of cool. It's kind of a garage style building. We also do have Trax and Road Rage. Over here we have Art Fire and Nightstick with all of his accessories and minicons, which looks pretty cool. Moving to the other side with this tower, we do have the Astro Patrol. We have uh, Tiger Track, uh, Red Alert, and uh, Deep Cover, I'm pretty sure. I'm actually surprised I've remembered most of these names. And moving over here, we have Wheeljack. We do have all three versions of Sunstreaker and their redecos, which looks pretty cool. And uh, another name I forgot. <laughs> uh, one of the original um, modulators from Earthrise, it was in Wave 1. I'll probably remember it after I'm doing this video, of course. <laughs> Just my luck. We have Rock Tonight, Impactor. We have, um, we have uh, Run About Runamuck. And, of course, another name I forgot uh, back there, another modular. And moving down here, we have another Minicon, another Battlemaster, one uh, from Earthrise that transforms into those shields, which is pretty cool. Uh, we have some Autobots. We have Inferno, Huffer, Rat Trap. Uh, we have a lot of Minicons on this bridge right here. We have uh, Hothouse, Slammer, and several Minicons that came from that Target exclusive pack from Siege. It was like 10 of them all together. That was pretty cool. Very nice. Just kind of going over this area. I do hope... I'm not going too fast, I hope. Just kind of going over everything. Looks pretty cool. Getting to this area, this is right below Artfire. This is Blaster and Pipes. We also do have Slammer and Hot Rod from Kingdom, which looks pretty cool. And just to get a sense of area, this is pretty much right across from the PulseCon box or shelf, which looks pretty cool. Moving to this area, we have Grease Spits and the Earthrise version of the G2 Megatron with some Minicons there, which looks pretty cool. So yeah, this is huge. I'm just going to kind of zoom out. There is a little bit more to go, but this looks so crazy. <laughs> um, uh, so if you're wondering what's like new, I have changed a little bit uh, from my last video. Uh, I just kind of wanted to go over everything, then I'll tell you what is new. So this bridge here, uh, all the characters that are on it, uh, it just used to be from this area to this area right there. I just moved it down because unfortunately it kept falling over, and that was really annoying to have to keep resetting these. So I put it lower to the ground, and it hasn't fallen off, and I think that looks pretty good in my opinion. Another thing that has changed, uh, this bridge here used to be a, a slightly uh, smaller. I actually got a bigger board, and I think that looks a little bit better. Also here, uh, this uh, area or this shelf here used to be actually quite a bit smaller. Uh, this big board here um, is brand new, and I kind of wanted like a little deck or patio for this area, and I think that looks pretty cool. I might put Shockwave and G2 Megatron from the Legacy Wave 2 there. I think that would look pretty cool. Um, that would look pretty nice. And I think that'd be cr pretty cool because we have the uh, Siege Shockwave there and having the smaller one right there would be kind of nice. Um, and I think that's really all I've changed. So not a ton, but actually I think it makes a big difference. So that's pretty much it for above the table. Just moving out just to get the full picture. That looks insane. <laughs> Let me know what I think of my huge block display in the comment section down below. Yeah, I forgot a few names. I always do. It's annoying, but yeah, this looks so cool and crazy. So now let's get to the last bit of the display. It's actually not much left. Let me just turn on this light here. So I do apologize. It is very dark under here, but we do have here uh, all of the Gallic, um, all of the Galactic Odyssey Amazon exclusive packs, also the Worlds Collide packs there. So that's pretty cool. You know, we got Punch Cutter Punch, Nemesis Primal, another version of Black Arachnia, another Bumblebee. Uh, the two Autobot clones, we have a Ratchet, a Lifeline, and uh, a Barricade. A lot of Minicons in the front, which is pretty cool. And then moving over here, we do have the Ark, which I thought it was pretty cool I could put under here, because it's kind of like in the Beast Wars show, or of course in the G1 show, was in like a giant cave or in a volcano, so I thought that was pretty cool. I could kind of put under here in the, sh the ship mode, that looks pretty cool in my opinion. 
Uh, under here, not really much has changed. I just had this, uh, this board used to be a little bit smaller. I found a bigger one, so that's pretty much all that's changed under here. So that is pretty much it for the display. So I'm just going to stand back up a bit. So here we have the full display. Let me know what I think of my full collection in the uh, comment section down below. Of course, there is some that I packed away in storage. Also, of course, the shutter glass is in a different room, but I didn't really need to show it because nothing has changed. I haven't gotten any new figures. So yeah, this is crazy. It's awesome. I'm really looking forward to getting some more figures to fill up this collection. As you can see, a lot of shelves are empty. A lot of space is empty to put some amazing characters. And let me know, I think, um, you know, figure-wise, where should I put Hazlab Victory Saber? Where should I put the Reckon Rule? You know, there's a lot of things I've ordered that I don't really have a set place for. Of course, the Shadowglass figures that are coming, I know exactly where I'm going to put those because I have a whole shelf really dedicated for them, so that's kind of a, a straightforward uh, uh, place to put them. But yeah, this looks so crazy, so let me just zoom back even more if I can, just kind of doing an overview of everything. Yeah, this looks crazy. <laughs> uh, and yeah, ouch, my wallet. And that looks really cool. One thing I almost did forget to show, I do have all the Kingdom Collector cards I put on my wall. I thought that was pretty cool. I might take them down. Uh, I do wish Legacy actually put out some collector cards with their toys, but they didn't, which is a kind of unfortunate. They just have that barcode scanning thing. I thought that's kind of lame in my opinion. And moving over here, this is the first part I looked at with uh, the uh, uh, Golden Disc Collection, the Battle Across Time, and the Legacy, and the New Table. So that is pretty much it for this video. Of course, I will do another one, not very soon. I would uh, probably quite a while, maybe uh, 2023, uh, maybe February, because I do want to wait a bit, uh, a long time, you know, for me to get some new characters, for me to change it, so it's interesting. I uh, hadn't done one in a while. Last one I did was terribly lit, uh, terribly filmed, and uh, um, yeah, it just wasn't very good. So I do hope this is better. There's some changes. Of course, I got more figures to add to it, which is quite nice. Uh, pretty much all of Legacy Wave 1. Uh, I did want to do this when I got Wave 2, but I just thought that might be a while. I do have, of course, some coming, so uh, that being said, if you're, uh, stay tuned on my channel because I do have Blitzwing, Jaxus, Shockwave, and G2 Megatron. Also, I did give it a chance. I also did buy the uh, Redeco of Siege Soundwave, uh, the uh, non-battle damaged one, and I did buy that one, so I will review that one as well. Yeah, it's not the most interesting, but honestly, I think it works better than the uh, Galvatron Redeco for wave one that one really doesn't matter at all because there's a tiny bit of battle damage on him uh the siege sound wave right there there is pretty much battle damage all over him so when they take it off it actually works pretty well so yeah very very cool stay tuned for those reviews and i think that's